Welcome back to Make Stuff Nation. This is my standard setup for shooting videos. I have a GoPro Hero 4 Black on a tripod. I'm currently shooting this video with my Samsung Galaxy S5 phone. In this video, I'm gonna see if I can get a little bit better audio quality out of my GoPro by using an aftermarket microphone. In the box, there's a plastic case adapter that allows you to access the side ports, a mounting bracket, a mounting bolt, the USB to audio adapter, a carrying bag, an aluminum wrench, two wind protectors, their foam, and then the microphone itself. It's a stereo microphone. It has a tilt capability and I'll be performing tests on this indoors and outdoors. We'll see how it affects indoors with the echo and then outdoors with and without the foam wind protectors to see if it helps with reducing the wind noise. For the audio testing of these microphones, I'm gonna read Harvard sentences and I'm gonna sit at the same distance from the microphone for each test and also try to read the sentences at the same volume. For this first test, the GoPro is in its standard case with the skeleton door. And here's for the baseline. Oak is strong and also gives shade. The pipe began to rust well new. Open the crate, but don't break the glass. For the next test, I'm gonna take the GoPro out of the standard case with the skeleton back and insert it into this case that came with the microphone. All right, I have the GoPro inserted into the case that came with the new microphone. And here are the test sentences. Oak is strong and also gives shade. The pipe began to rust well new. Open the crate, but don't break the glass. Now I'm gonna hook up the new microphone and we'll see how the test repeats. I've confirmed a big issue that was reported on this microphone. If you have the Wi-Fi enabled on your GoPro, it creates some really bad interference and renders the new microphone unusable. So you can only use this microphone if you have your Wi-Fi turned off. And now for the test with the new microphone. Oak is strong and also gives shade. The pipe began to rust well new. Open the crate, but don't break the glass. Okay, here we are outside. Say hi to the camera, Alan. Okay, this first test is with the stock camera microphone and the aftermarket case. Oak is strong and also gives shade. The pipe began to rust well new. Open the crate, but don't break the glass. This test is with the aftermarket microphone with no wind protectors. Oak is strong and also gives shade. The pipe began to rust well new. Open the crate, but don't break the glass. This test is with the aftermarket microphone installed with the wind protectors. Oak is strong and also gives shade. The pipe began to rust well new. Open the crate, but don't break the glass. Here's a wrap up of the tests back to back so you can listen for differences in quality. Oak is strong and also gives shade. 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 Personally, I think the differences between the stock microphone and the aftermarket microphone were very minimal. I think the biggest problem with using this aftermarket microphone is not being able to use the Wi-Fi feature on the GoPro due to the interference that it creates in the audio. I've done some cursory research and it looks like lots of people have had issues with the Wi-Fi causing audio interference when using an aftermarket microphone. Other people have also had problems with audio interference just using the stock microphone with the Wi-Fi enabled. Well that about wraps it up for this video. If you've had any experience with Wi-Fi causing audio issues on GoPros, let us know down in the comments, especially if you've come up with a workaround. If you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you next time.